Ciao Pier, <ride> benvenuto a Radiofonica, welcome to Radiofonica. Thank you. Pier, you built your, your own mutant orchestra with so many different instruments and objects um, as well. What attracted you to the mechanical object uh, as a potential medium, musical medium? Well, I started uh, long ago. Computers were not in the house at that time, in the 70s, early 70s. And, um, and I started at a moment when um, uh, you would have, in this, in this type of music I, I liked, which is in between serious and popular, not popular music really, but not serious totally, um, you would, at that time you would uh, collaborate with other musicians, you would not uh, lead a band. Mainly it was uh, uh, right after, in France, right after 1968, it was more uh, a sort of a communist idea of uh, making music. So um, I was playing with uh, other musicians and we were deciding all together. And then you get uh, uh, it can be a bit problematic when you have uh, p uh, precise ideas and you want to, to listen to them because uh, your friends, they will have also precise ideas and they want to, to express their ideas. So it's always a compromise, this, uh, this communitarism and uh, this collab collaborative uh, way of making music. So... Um, I started making them the first machines in, in with this in mind that uh, the machines would do what I, I, I wanted them to do and so I could play my own compositions without compromising. It was my uh, industrial revolution, yes. Um, and so now nowadays, of course, a musician with the same uh, idea in mind with the same will he will uh, just uh, take a computer install a good program and make his own music uh, because uh, yeah and and play like an orchestra like a one man band but uh, at that time you had to to build your own dev devices and uh, i don't regret that i don't regret maybe computer would have be, would have been uh, easier but also uh, less special so because I started before this era of the computer I developed I had the chance to develop something special Do you have a set piece when you're playing or is mm, each performance improvising well um, it's set it's written in the metal of the machines the machines don't improvise, or or slightly. I I, I try to I try to make machines uh, that can improvise by using fans, uh, ventilators, air, instead of just uh, the motor and and the gears. If I use air, um, blown uh, air, instead of motors. Uh, as a source of energy, then I can get some improvisation, but uh, still not much. So it's written not with a pen, a pen on paper, but it's written with a screwdriver and a soldering iron on metal. Uh, this part, and and then my part, because I play along with the machines, my part is semi-written, semi-improvised. Well, mostly written, but um, the fact that I play with machines helps me in a way that the machine will never complain if I start here or there. Um, uh, so I can shorten a piece, I can play it longer, uh, I can start after four bars, I, I can start after eight bars, as I feel, as I feel it, as I, as I generally when you play in a in a hall in a venue you you have a, a quite precise idea of how the public is reacting uh, so i i i can play with that 
with the reaction of a public. If I, if I listen, if I feel that uh, people are bored, I shorten. If I feel that they enjoy, I can play more. So <laughs> you have a, an emotional approach when you're playing, um, but you have a, a, a specific audience uh, when you try when you begin to to work with your with your composition. This I'm not sure. No, uh, how, what do you mean a specific audience? For your music, uh, you. S well, I have no idea about that. I think you build slowly, you build an audience, but uh, I, I cannot look at, uh, at that from, from outside. I'm too much inside, so I don't know about, and I don't know anything about that, really. About the emotional aspect, I know more, yes. Uh, emotional, but still, it's not, it's not um, a decision, it's more, I think I, try to express myself as uh, spontaneously and as uh, truly possible. Um, so if it's emotional, uh, probably, but... Um, and anyway, uh, th there are different aspects. In music, emotion can, uh, can, can uh, rise from, from uh, techniques if you play a C major chord, it, it will probably be less emotional than if you play a C minor chord. You know, minor, you, you can, you, it, it's even in the, in the common way of talking, you see, I'm, I'm, you, you, you can say that I'm, uh, I'm feeling a bit in a minor mode, that means that you are a bit depressed, etc. So, uh, a minor chord will, will fill you with some sort of, uh, sadness slightly so i don't know about emotion i don't work on emotion no. i work more on uh, very concrete aspects like uh, building this rhythm building this uh, combination of uh, of sounds etc so i'm too much inside what you well the question was about uh, what you feel uh, and me what I try to give to the people maybe some emotion of course some I, I, actually I try to I try I try to surprise people in the way that they will not get bored uh, easily so every if I would like every two minutes I try to introduce something an element that uh, you, you start thinking oh what is this so that's my ma main concern. What is the most difficult uh, instrument to mechanize for you? Um, a trumpet. So I play it myself. <laughs> uh, this kind of instruments, they, they are complicated. You need a lot of a big motor and I don't, can, cannot bring it. You need a strong uh, uh, a blowing system, compressor. And uh, I don't like that, so I compress myself. <laughs> okay, Pierre. Uh, I think that French people have a lot of imagination. <laughs> you think so? Yes. Because ah. I think, for example, Jules Verne or, ah, <laughs> yes, yes. or, or even a uh, director like uh, Michel Gondry. Yeah, yes, yes, I see what you mean. So, Viva la France. <laughs> Thank you for that, but uh, yes, you, 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 you mentioned Jules Verne, I would mention a, a follower of Jules Verne, uh, Raymond Roussel, and that was also a, a, a big uh, influence for me, uh, the, the books by Raymond Roussel, Impression d'Afrique, I think it's translated in, in, in Italian, it has been translated for long, and Locus Solus. Okay, thank you Pierre for being here. Uh, un saluto da Radiofonica e ci vediamo questa sera al postmodernissimo di Perugia. Ciao.